What's going on here? What? Where's my dining table? Janet! Janet! Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. So, what's going on here? And what's happened to my dining table? And where's your sister? She went out. Hey, babe, you're home already. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what's going on? What happened? To what? My dining table. Where is it? I sent you a text earlier. I did not get it. I didn't send a text. So, what happened to my dining table? Babe, just calm down. It's just a table. What do you mean by it's, it's just a table? Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where's my dining table? I sold it. You did what? I sold it. I had to. I told you I need money for Beatrice's wedding at Shebi, so I had to sell it. I did what I had to do. Wait, you sold my dining table to make payment for some wearing clothes or something, Janet? Yes! Yes, I did. What were you expecting me to do? Okay, my friends should mock me next because I couldn't afford Ashebi. They should, I should become something of ridicule. What? You want to hit me? Chidi! Chidi, you want to beat me up because of some piece of furniture? A table! An ordinary table, Chidi! You want to beat me up? Okay, fine, beat me! Show me your power, beat me up, Chidi! Are you serious right now? Because of an ordinary table. Are you proud of yourself? Like, are you proud of yourself right now, Chidi? Beat me up! Can you imagine? What's the big deal? It's just a table. An ordinary table. Sister, you talk too much. If I, if I, if, if, if I slap you now, rubbish. You know, as an adult, and an intelligent one at that, which was the reason why I fell in love with you in the first place. However, your recent decision are making me to think otherwise. Chidi, did you ask to talk to me or to insult me? Which one? I wasn't insulting you. Oh, really? Yes. You're an intelligent person, but now I'm taking an advice. What's that? Is that, is that a compliment or, or what? So what are you trying to say? That I'm stupid or foolish? Hey, come on, you, I wasn't saying just, okay. If that's how you say it, I am sorry. Better. But come on, selling the dining table just to pay for a wedding outfit, does it make any sense to you? Not giving your woman money for her friend's wedding, thereby leaving her to shame and mockery, embarrassment and disgrace. Does it make any sense to you, Chidi? But I told you I was down financially. You have been down financially for months. Come on, that's because of the house I am building. We're looking at a wedding in a few months. Okay. Wouldn't you want to move into your own house? Of course. I would want that. Then? But not at the expense of my reputation, Chidi. Wow, at the expense of your reputation. Come on, business has been down, Janet. And the little I make, I tend to put it into the new house that we're building. Our rent here expires next month. And all these are financially demanding. Chidi, in case you have forgotten, you are the man of this house. Be a man. Behave like a man. Handle the responsibilities like a man with your full chest. Please, please, please. You just woke me up. I had a very stressful day at the Taylor show. I was trying to shape his and it was too tight. My whole body is paining me. Allow me to sleep. Huh? So he woke me up to tell me. I should be a man, Janet. I should be a man. You're trying to ridicule your husband. I've been down financially for. Okay. Wow. Bro, I don't know what's happening. Janet is. <sighs> She's becoming quite scary. She's become the opposite of the woman I met before now. From the way she speaks, 
and the way she reacts to things. Like, I don't know how to put it, not to even add that our demands are becoming quite unending. But bro, all ladies are demanding. What is different with hers? Bro, the things she demands for and her actions whenever I don't meet up to them are quite shocking. Okay. You can't believe it. I got back home yesterday. To my greatest surprise, I couldn't meet my dining table at home. It didn't end there. I confronted her and asked her what happened to my dining table. Guess what she said to me? She said, but she sold it to pay for an ashubi. It didn't end there. I tried to have a dialogue with her. I was patient. And she reminded me that I wasn't um, rising up to the occasion and spending on her. And I told her that I've been financially down. Only for her to remind me that I have always been financially down. She didn't end there. She had to remind me that I am a man, that I should take responsibilities and match up to a personality. Like, who does that suck? Sweet Jesus, this, this is a lot. She sold your dining table and, and she still brags about it, about you not being able to provide her needs. I kid you not. Now you see what I meant. Bro, this, this, is, this is too much. Wait, who sells her dining table just after than I should be to impress her friends? Who does that? I don't know. Same thing I said when I experienced it yesterday. Bro, you see, I have always had my reservations about Janet. On from the start. Reservations that I made clearly to you, but you couldn't listen because you were so much in love with her. Now it's obvious your eyes are now open. Um, Zach, calm down. It's... Ah. Hasn't gotten to that. I just want to take you that this is one of our challenges and then tests. You know, every relationship with their own trials and challenges. I just want to see this as ours. And I want to believe that this will pass too. Yeah. So what if it doesn't? You say? What will you do? Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How is my daughter-in-law? Chidi? Yes, Mama, I... I'm here. I'm fine. Janet is fine. What, what is bothering you? You, you, don't, you don't sound okay. What is wrong? Mama, I am okay. Is it about the business challenge you told me about the last time you came? Because if it's so, every business has its time. It will soon pass, Chide. Don't kill yourself. It will pass. Do you hear me? Thank you, Ma. Um, I hope you have been taking your medication. My drugs are finished. And um, you remember the doctor said I should come back when I've exhausted the medication. Oh, okay. Which means you will be coming to the city. That's right. No problem, no problem. All right. I'll see you. Okay. Okay, take care, my son. Take care. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. Where's your sister? She went to get her clothes from the teller. Oh. Okay. Is there food in the house? Yes, sir. I just finished making jello fries. Great. Um, I'll go freshen up while you set the table, okay? Sir? Table. Oh. Yeah, um... Okay, you know what? I'll let you know when you can bring it to the room. All right, Yeah. was crazy. Uh, okay. I went to the tailor's shop earlier to pick up my Ashibi. Getting home, I realized that the kind of pattern she made in the front was yeah. so childish, so tacky. I had mm. to take it back for her to redo it because mm. I need to come correct. I need to slay at that wedding. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Mama called earlier though. Really? Yeah, she said she's coming tomorrow. Coming here? Yes. I hope you'll be around to take her to the hospital when she comes. I don't think that's going to be possible. I have dance Why? rehearsal, so I can't take her to the hospital. Dance rehearsal? When did you start dancing? Maybe it's not like that. You see, we, the friends of Beatrice, we just said to surprise her with a little choreography at the wedding reception. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. Hmm. I see. Babe, this wedding, mm. it is not a joke. Like, don't play. Babe, mm. people are coming. We're, we're, like, we all have to come correct. Babe, everything, eh, I'm fully invested. I just really want to know all the, you know, the preparations, the stages. You know, we are planning our own wedding. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. So I'm putting my eyes down to the ground to understand all the stages involved. From the hall, to the food, to the DJ, the everything. I need to understand it all. Babe, mm -hmm. our own wedding will not be a joke. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a hit. It will be lit. Yeah. The talk of the town. Yes. Babe, mm -hmm. do you know... We've not even thought about our hashtag. Chijan. Jan, Jandi. Jandi. Just Janet and D from Chidi. Jandi. Babe, it's going to be, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Mama, <laughs> welcome. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> ah, so, so where is my daughter-in-law? She went for dance rehearsals. <laughs> Which one is dance rehearsal? Huh? Mama, her friend's wedding is this weekend. So they went to learn some dance steps that they would dance at the reception. Children of these days. Yeah. So have they chose a wedding date? Mm, I heard Uncle say in a few months. In a few months, it's not a definite date. I want a definite date. A charm date. I want a date. Eh? Mama, don't worry. <laughs> Let me go inside. Let me go inside and refresh him up. Oh, you woman. I'm fine. Why is your face like this? Why are you so why are you early? My head, my head they worry me. Oh your head. So have you have you taken drugs? If you go call that chemist, make you go by me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So you know, just relax, let me go get you drugs. I'm coming. I'm coming now, okay? Mm. Ow. okay. 
Welcome. I'm a little hooks for me. Oh, mm. sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, welcome. Thank you, my dear. Um, how are you? I'm okay, son. Mom, you didn't call me to tell me you've arrived. <sighs> what difference will it make? You are at work. You wouldn't have come, or would you? Actually, I didn't go to work today. As you can see, no, do I go to work like this, Mom? I went to the site and from there I met this blockhead. We just had to, we yeah, had to yeah, finish one too. <laughs> I hope Janet prepared something delicious for you. Janet? Yes. I haven't seen Janet. Somto told me that she went for a dance rehearsal. Which means you've not had anything to eat? No, oh, I have. I have I have eaten. Um Somto made them. Um, a porridge yam for me. Oh, that girl, she's a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, so how was your trip? It was fine. It was fine, only for my waist. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, it comes with old age. <laughs> You'll be fine, Mama. All right, thank you. So how is your wife? Mama, she's fine, thank you. Okay. Any luck yet? Mama, not yet. We are still hoping on the Lord for a miracle to happen. Children are God's um, gift. It will come at God's time. Do you understand? Amen, Amen. Mama. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Anyway, bro, um, let me hurriedly go take one or two things um, upstairs. So by the time I'm back, we'll finish up with our stuff. And GD, then... you better come down. We'll have a talk. Oh, uh, no problem. Always... Bro, let's go. I, I have a lot to catch up with, Mama. A lot of gist. <laughs> That's no problem. Wow. I'll be right back. You're looking good. Thank you. You don't want to eat at all? Mm, I don't want to eat you. No see me. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Son? Does she always stay out this late? No, not at all. And her phone is not connecting. I don't know. I don't know what happened to her phone. <sighs> well, maybe I will see her in the morning because I'm very tired. I need to go upstairs and rest. Okay, mom. Good night. Good night, son. From dance rehearsals, of course. I'm so sorry I'm coming back late, but it was crazy, babe. Ah, you know how bad Alicia is with dancing? She made us rehearse every move over and over again. It was stressful, it was crazy. Ah, gosh, babe, you won't even understand. It means you went dancing and you neglected the fact that my mom was coming over. Janet. Jenny, I did not neglect anything. I even told Somdo to make her favorite meal. I did not neglect her coming. Wait, um, let me get this straight. Am I in this relationship with you or your sister? What is that supposed to mean? I'm asking, what is that supposed to mean? So I should have halted my activities because your mother was coming. And is that not enough It's reason? not enough reason, Chidi, it's not. Okay, fine, I get it. Your mother was coming to the house. I understand. I knew. And I told Sandra to make her favorite meal. But it's not enough for me to halt my activities because she's coming now. Chidi, please, 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 please. I had a very stressful day. My whole body is been in me. Ah, allow me to go and freshen up and sleep. Please, I can see my mind in the morning. Ah, well, what's all this fuss about? I already explained to you, you're still fighting me. I don't know why you like problems in this house. Ibuka, 
Mm. Can you say I know no say that they pursue person come out for university because of school fees? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know. I've been seeing say now when person gets money, now he go fit pay school fees. Even if the person don't go to school finish. Sister, that was in the past. Like, that was in the past, past, past. Right now, things are different. See, if you don't pay your school fees in the school, they will not allow you to sit for the exams. You will be missing exams if you don't pay your school fees. <sighs> no worry, eh? You go sit for your exam. You don't go miss your exam. I go make sure, see, I will give you the money. Tomorrow or next tomorrow, I will carry the money give you, eh? My huh? sister. Mm -hmm. Sister, you. Thank you so much, sister. Mm -hmm. Sister, eat now. It's your food. <laughs> so thank you. Mm -hmm. She's not to say the money no day, but she knows as I did do. I did like plan myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. That money like that, that's this year. Mom, I am sorry. Mm -hmm. But Janet couldn't take you to the hospital earlier. It's just that she's been very busy. Extremely very busy. <sighs> so she's so busy that she could not even see her mother-in-law to be busy. I came here yesterday and I'm going tomorrow and I couldn't even see her. You said busy. <laughs> yeah, Mom. I know. And that is why I am apologizing on her behalf and saying I am sorry. It's just that the wedding thing has been eating her up. <laughs> Talking about Wedding. When are you slating your own wedding? Because that engagement ring has been on that girl's finger for a very long time. Um, I'm looking at the next three months because my house should be completed in like two months' time. Um, Mom. The thing is that I really want to move into my own house immediately after the wedding. That's a good idea. But you still need a date so that you can start planning. You need to have a definite date. Yeah, yeah, true. <clears throat> Speaking of plans and preparations, the thing is that, Mom, I want a low-key wedding. A lucky gonna God forbid. Not my only child will have a low-key wedding. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Do you know how many people's children I have attended their wedding in the last decade? Huh? You're, you're telling me about a low-key wedding. Oh no, my son will not have a low-key wedding. No, 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 no. Mom, I, I, I just, I don't want crowd. Things are really hard and I don't want much crowd, Mom. You know, the lesser the crowd, the lesser the expenses. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So, is the expenses that you are, so you're actually talking about. Don't worry. I will personally sponsor your wedding. Yes. I will sponsor your wedding. Mom. Yes, if that's what you want. I will sponsor your wedding. Ha! Huh. Gee, dear. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Come on, I, I really need to finish with this Babe, proposal I, so I can. Want to right now? I need to finish before I can submit it. I don't care. Okay, babe, just leave like If I want you right now, don't you get it? Okay, okay. Just relax. 
Just give me like an hour or two. I'll train you. No. Chidi, you go to work every single day. Anything you don't finish in that office, you don't bring it home. Okay? Um, Once you're home, you're home for me. And I want you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay, baby. Of course I am always for you. Just give me an hour. Okay, okay. 30 minutes. If I want you right now, and I'm having you right now. Baby, baby, you will destroy the foul weeds. I don't care. Chidi. Babe. If you do not meet me in the room in the next two minutes, I'm locking you out. Babe. Shit is honey. Yes. Let me just finish it via email because I really need to send this. Yes, Yes, I'm coming. I'll join you. Yo, keep him waiting. Tom, I want to say thank you for everything you have been doing for my son. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mama. Um, Mama, please, don't be angry with my sister. She's just consumed with the euphoria of her friend's wedding. Some Tochuku, you're a very wise girl. Thank you. It's okay. Mama. Ma, good morning. Ma. Good morning. Good morning. I've almost lost hope of seeing you. Ah, Mama, I am sorry. It wasn't deliberate. Hmm, I guess the excitement of the wedding. <laughs> yes, Mama. <laughs> Chili told me you'd be leaving this morning, so I said to just quickly rush down and see you before you go. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you, Mama. Right. Mama, I'm sorry once again, honestly. I did not mean for it to be like this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. So just tell me what you want me to do to make it up to you. Fix a wedding date. Mama. Yes, fix a wedding date. It will make me happy. Okay, fine, fine. I promise you within this week we're fixing a date for the wedding. Ah, <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Yes, Mama. Oh my God. God. Um, I have to go now. I don't want to miss the first boss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let me see you off then. Why not? Okay, sure. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. All of a sudden, I just dislike the idea of being back home after work. What, Janet? Who else? She's quite the opposite of the woman I once met. Oh, Jesus. What has she done this time? You can't believe that Mama stayed with us for two days and she almost did not meet Janet before leaving. Really? I kid you not. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You know, Janet has been so encrossed with this her uh, dance rehearsal for Beatrice's wedding, or I, I, I don't know. Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait, bro. You mean that nonsense we witnessed at the wedding reception last week? Mm -hmm. To think that Janet hasn't even entered the kitchen for almost two months now and what? counting. How have you been feeling? Because I know you quite well, bro. You don't eat outside and you hate eating outside. Of course, I hate eating outside. I don't think so. Her sister, Sumto, she's been the one cooking. Bro, this is bad. It is. Hasn't Janet heard of cases of 
helps and siblings snatching their woman's husband, all because they are left to do their duties for them. I guess the story doesn't scare her because she, she believes that I can cheat on her. What if she's cheating on you? Hey, come on. What if? It doesn't go into that. Because, bro, from what you just said to me, from everything you just said, it's all signs of someone giving their attention to someone else. It's obvious, bro. Hey, come on, Zach. You see, I, I know Janet has been off for a while now, but if she hasn't gotten to the level of cheating, she wouldn't. I can assure you that. Please, kill that thought. Let's go. That's coming. Hey, hey, Mama. Chinanya. <laughs> Chinanya. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I did, Mama. I did. I did all right. How are you doing now, Mama? I'm fine, as you can see. I'm fine. Mm, you're fine, true, true. I see. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mama, I come here the other day. I don't see anybody. Oh. I went to the city to see my doctor. Mm. Ah. Mama, I, I hope see everything there, right? Everything is okay. Everything is just checkup. I just went to do a checkup on me. <laughs> checkup. That one good. I fear you do not be able to see. Hey, Mama, um, your. Your son and his wife, how them they? They are fine. We are planning a wedding. Wedding? Yes. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> wedding is all a good news, oh! <laughs> hey! I must make sure say I attend that wedding. I go come. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> I go right. come, oh, I must chop the rice. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, oh. Hey, Mama. I still make I bring you. Grandma. Always bringing grandma to for me. <laughs> and when I give you money, you don't collect it. Eh? Why? Or a business, Kine. You are doing business now. Mama, no, I stop saying a business I did do. But I won't take collect money from you now. Eh? I won't take one. Eh? Mama, I don't know, say, if not before you. My brother no go fit enter university self. You know. And I have told you to let me get the admission for you. But you refuse. Huh? Oh my God. You are bent on seeing your brother, your younger brother, go to school. How about you, Chinenya? My dad's one that's a coffee. I want to take them easy. I want to take them small, small. Mm. Eh? You know, as my brother, I don't do university. I could feel they pay the school fees small, small. When he don't finish, me himself, I could now enter. A small, small, mama. Mm. Huh? Eh? Okay. Yes, I will go. <laughs> um, mama, no carry light on the phone. Okay, just. Mm. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Thank you. Mama. <laughs> Mama, go to the gold, eh? Yeah, yeah, you're a very good girl. It is good. I'm sure wherever your parents are, they will be so proud of you. You are very good and very hardworking. It's a good Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Make her go. I will come see you again tomorrow. Okay. If I don't self finish. Thank you, my okay. daughter. All right, girl. All right. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Mama. 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 Mama.
I did not collect his ring. Ha! Huh. I returned it back to him. I cannot allow any man tie me down. He wants to turn me to become the queen of the ring. Ha! Huh. No, I'm too smart for that. Come on, Janet. You know I'm not talking about you. We all know that Chidi will do the needful as soon as possible. But you see that one? That one. He's not ready. That Peter. Babe, how do you know? It is very obvious. I can see it in his eyes. He wants to tie me down. He wants to use that cheap ring and tie me. I cannot allow any man tie me down. Me. A free bird like me. A freelancer. Ha. Please. Any man that wants me should be ready, ready to take me down the aisle within a month after our engagement. Alicia, a month? Yes. Alicia, that's too soon now. What is too soon? Please, babe, 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 please. Anything more than that, I'm not game. See, babe, this ring thing is like a new trend for those guys. They use it to rope in a girl and use the girl as he wants. When they are done sucking every juice inside of you, they will dump you and settle for the next best thing. Or better still, someone their parents chose for them. Yeah, I'm too smart for all that. Baby, 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 baby. You have it from there. It can't be right now. Chidi's friend engaged this girl for two good years. But he still married the girl. He ended up with her. Mm. He didn't leave her for somebody else. And you think you share the same fate with her? <laughs> My dear, there are only but a selected few. I just hope and pray that you are among those few. Else, Breakfast always you. God forbid. God forbid. Which breakfast? God forbid I reject it. She can never, ever, ever serve me breakfast. That guy loves me. He's madly in love with me. He can't do without me. You think so? I know so. <laughs> Babe. Hey. hey. You're welcome back. Yeah. How was your day? Very well. <laughs> mm -hmm. How was your day too? It was fine. Hi, Great. Hi. Hi. Can see that she's already hosting you well. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is. Okay, I'll leave you ladies to do your thing. <laughs> I'll be in the room waiting for you. Okay, I'll yeah. join you shortly. Sure, sure. Welcome. Yes, yeah, very well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did you see the way he kissed me? Yeah, of course. Did I you see the way he looked at me? Mm -hmm. That guy is madly in love with me. <laughs> he can't serve me breakfast though. I can see that. Uh -uh. Sweet potato. <laughs> mm. Back. Mm. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm fine. How was my kid today now? We try. Okay, it made a lot of sense. I think I could talk. We try Thirty thousand naira. Okay. This one, five thousand naira. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything at thirty-five thousand. Okay. I want to make use this thirty thousand naira. Take them, pay your school fees. Then this five thousand naira, look at it. Now your pocket money. You hear me? Yes, sister. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. You're the best sister. Thank mm. you so much. Um, Bukasin, I, I want to make you manage that your pocket money will win. I will. I will. I promise you. You know I said be yours. Rent the cup. We never settle that one. So I beg, just help me. Manage that pocket money. I promise you, sister. I will manage it. Thank you so much. Mm. <sighs> You go use this one, go buy something, make me take a cook, eh? Okay. And we don't chop. Uh, yes, I've eaten. I ate the remaining rice in the pot. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now. No need to make I cook again now. 
Okay. You go just go fetch water for me, eh? Make her take a bath, sleep. Now the only thing now we are going to be that. Okay. Go ahead. Anything for you, sister. Mm. Oh, go. So you came out late today. Mm. I saw the market bill. Oh. Mm. I didn't wait to. Bad boy, what was that for you? No, I don't want to talk. Okay. Please, okay. Do me. I'm sorry, sir. I did not know you were here. It's all right. Sir, are you okay? No, I'm not. Your sister is driving me crazy. She's driving me nuts. You know, growing up, all I wanted was a wife that understands me, respects me, shows interest in almost everything. At least, not perfection, but someone close to it. Until I met your sister, I was thankful to God. Finally, what I wanted came to me on a platter of gold. She was respectful, she listens to me, she does everything and yes, she can be demanding but quite understanding when I say I don't have. Until recently she became quite the opposite. She started nagging. I complaining over everything. She wants to play whenever I want to rest. She became over demanding. And I started noticing temperament issues that wasn't even there in the first place. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even explain it. I don't know. I'm sorry, sir. The truth there is I see and I hear everything. Yes, my sister was never like that. <laughs> All this started happening the moment she became friends with the likes of Alicia and Beatrice. I knew friends influenced friends, but I did not know it would be this much and fast. The whole thing is getting to me and I'm beginning to consider the whole relationship. Yes, you are right, sir. She might be my sister, but I will not support her when she go astray. Please, I will beg you to bear with her. She might still come back to her senses. I pray she does. And she better act fast. Um. Okay, sir. Good night. Let me let me go inside. To discuss something very important with you. I hope there's no problem. Are you are you all right? I'm fine. It's about you and your relationship. You want to talk to me about my relationship? Yes, sister. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm listening. Sister. Things aren't exciting as they used to be between you and Chidi. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Sis, you have changed. 
You have changed so much that it worries you, man. Even me too. How so? I still do not get what you mean. Sis, look. You hardly stay at home. Lately, you go out with your friends every day. The moment you come back home, you scold Chidi. The worst thing you did was to sell the dining table. How can a woman sell her properties just to impress her friends? They won't be here to face things for you. Sis, they should accept you the way you are. You totally changed the moment you became friends with Alicia and Beatrice. Sometimes I don't even recognize you again. Um, okay, so are you done? Yes, sister. So now you can get out. Sis. I said get out! Didn't you hear me? Leave if I slap you. Rubbish. She's supposed to look at this girl, though. See who I'm trying to help. I think I'll send you back to the village so I can join the elders and be scolding all the young girls there. Since I want to know how to do. Teacher, you want to tell me how to handle my relationship? Can you imagine? If you ever try this rubbish again, eh? So do I will deal with you in this house. Can you imagine? See you. Hey. Somto, you're trying me in this house, oh. Good day, ma'am. Hi. How may I help you? My name is Frank. I'm your next door neighbor. Um, sorry. I wanted to make some noodles, but I forgot that I didn't get some lighter or matches. So I was hoping if you could, you know, help me with some sure. lighter. A second, okay? How was work? Yeah, not bad. Good, same as yesterday and the day before. Okay. Yeah, you look different. Different, different. Different good or different bad? Good different. Good different. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Wait, babe. Have I been a pain in the butt lately? Of course, a little. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. It's fine. So, what do you mean, so? Hey, come on, bit. I know you want something, so spill. Is it that obvious? Of course it's that obvious, so what do you want? Okay, fine, you caught me. Mm -hmm. I just need a little amount of money. Okay. How much? Just 500,000. 500,000 is what you call just. Just. <laughs> come on. Okay, what do you need this for? <sighs> Babe, Alicia ordered this hair online. When she ordered this hair, I was thinking it was going to be some fake or, you know, a scam or rip-off. But when this hair came, Babe, you need to see the strands. The hair is glorious. Like, it's, it's divine. The hair is so fine. And, you know, I know my guy likes me looking good. And I was like, why don't you order the same hair and look good for your man? <laughs> Yes, I love to see you looking good, but I can't afford the luxury of expensive hair right now. You know, I have... I know, the house you're building, yes, yes, exactly. I know. So what are you saying? You're not giving me the money. Hey, come on. That's not what I said. I said I cannot give you the money right now. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to... 
Hello, Janet. I'm not done talking. We are done talking. Yes, we are done. Just like that? Janet? I'm so sorry that I did not return the lighter yesterday. I slept off after eating my noodles. That's okay. It's fine. Do you know that you're beautiful? <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Nice place. Thank you. Your, your husband? No, not yet. He's my fiancé. Hmm, I see. I envy him. Why? Try. Of all the places, now your guy, please. What were you expecting me to do? I did not plan for this. I did not know he was going to kiss me. He just started kissing me and I did not, I could not stop him. I could not do anything. I did not know what came over me. She, it was Ramsinoa that you couldn't <gasps> resist. Look at what you're saying. You didn't try now. Ah, Alicia, why are you sounding like this? Why are you talking to me like that? I called you to come as a friend and help me find a solution to this problem. You're making me feel worse now. Stop talking to me like this, I beg. Please. Eh? What solutions do you want me to give to you? Eh? You were making out with a man in your man's house and he walked in on you. Ah, please. The only solution here is for you to go down on your knees and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> ask for forgiveness like your life depends on it. That's the solution, no? Yes, sister. I want you. But you did not listen to me. Now see what you have caused for yourself. Hey. Where did he go to? I don't know. I don't know. He just stood there staring at me like a wounded lion. I don't know. Yes, he's a wounded lion. Mm -hmm. Then next thing he just left without saying a word. He just walked out like that. See, babes, it would have even been better that he shouted at you or even slap you. That way we will know that he has vented out his anger. Hey. But this one he didn't say or do anything. As she was we go. And we don't even know what he's planning now. Please, please, let's put hands together. Let's plan something. I don't know put what heads. to do. Please, now you're my friend, Alicia. Why are you sounding like this to now? Do? The only thing to do is to go and beg. Ah, please, oh. Which one is put hands together? Ah, ah. Welcome. Where's your sister? My oh, there you are. I'm so sorry. Please. Now I want you to go in there, pack your things, and leave my house right now. Please, I'm sorry. I can't explain everything that happened. Explanations are for those who ask for them. I didn't ask for your explanation. As a matter of fact, I don't need them. Because I saw everything myself. You're so shameless. 
to think that there was a time I saw a future with you. Please don't say that we still have a future together. You and I, we not have a future. in this lifetime, not even in the next. I would rather remain single or become a priest than spend the rest of my life with you. You know, there are certain things I can tolerate. Your excesses, your naggings, your late nights, that's the excuses. You're not cooking. Is it your, your forcing of sex at night? But you see this, I can't condone. Please, please, I will change, I swear. I saw my life, I saw my mother's life. It will never happen again, I promise you, I swear. Yes, it will never happen again. It will never happen again. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I forgive you. Yeah. I'm done. What? Yes. Chidi. Because I can't see us the same way anymore. Chidi, don't say that. Please. 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 Don't say that. Get your hands off me. Chidi. Get your hands off me. Chidi, please. What exactly are you sorry for, Janet? No, I'm curious. What exactly are you sorry for? Everything. Please. You're sorry and yet you sold my dining. Right? You're sorry and you, you couldn't make anything for my mom when she got here. You're sorry. You couldn't take her to the hospital and you're sorry. With your excuses and you're sorry. You come at night to the store and you first sex and you're sorry. And listen. You have from now until tomorrow morning. If I return here and I see you again, I will be able to Chidi, where are you going? So please, I am sorry. Sumdu, why did you not say anything? I was begging you. Why did you not say anything? Why? Oh my God. Oh my God, Chidi. What have I done? Inside. What do you mean inside? Get your things so we can leave. Did you not hear Chidi say we should leave his house? He did not ask us to leave. He only asked you to leave. And what is that supposed to mean? You want to watch me leave my fiance's house and you remain here? I'm not going anywhere with you. Somto. Where is all this coming from? I'm, I'm, uh, did, did you put me up to this? Why do you want to stay, stay here as what? What makes you think he's going to let you stay in his house? I already spoke with Uncle Cheddar this morning. And he agreed I can stay as long as I want. As long as you want, why? Sumto? Sumto, why are you doing this? Well, what, okay, what are you staying here? As, as what? As who? His sister or his, his new girlfriend? Is that your plan? Sister, you know I would not do anything with Uncle Chide. But I'd rather stay here in this house than to live with Alicia. I don't like her, and I never liked her. This same Alicia is the cause of what is happening to you now. I warned you repeatedly about her, but you were so proud to listen. Sumto, you're insisting on staying here while you watch me leave my fiance's house. Yes, than enduring Alicia. It's okay. It's fine. You win. But Sumdu, don't call me if anything goes wrong. Don't call me when something happens. Because I will not answer you. Don't worry, I won't call you. You know, it is surprising that Janet could do that. Yeah. Accepted. Mm. I have come to expect anything from women. Fair enough. But right at your sitting room, mm -hmm. that is disrespectful. Very disrespectful. So what are you going to do? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. I just move on like she never existed. You think it's that easy to just move on like that? There is nothing I can do. Hey, how about her younger sister? You said she refused to live with her. Oh yes, Sumto, Sumto isn't buying the idea of she going to um, live with Alicia, who she felt like was a negative influence on her. That is not a problem. At least she left her younger sister to take care of my friend. Hey, come on, it, Zach. Far from it, don't even go towards that aspect. You know, Sumto, Sumto is just like a younger sister to me. Mm -hmm. I just, I, said, I took her like the sister I never had. It's mm -hmm. the brother-sister thing going on there. Mm. Nothing, like nothing. Trust me. I see. Yes. Brother-sister relationship. Trust me. Sorry, yeah. excuse me. Let me take oh, my mom. Hello, mom. Chidi. How are you holding up? I'm fine. I still think you should have given her a second chance. You should have given her a second chance. At the expense of my own happiness, Mama. Come on. There is no way on earth I can keep up or live with a woman who I caught cheating on me with another man in my own house. It's practically impossible, Mama. So what you're telling me now is that there's no wedding. Is that? Sadly so. Except you can... Um, just look for a woman and marry a wife for me. Are you serious? Very serious, Mama. Because, trust me, I am tired of all this city. Unfaithful, conditional. Um, what's the adjective I can use to qualify their love? Conditional, materialistic. I am sick and tired of them all. I, I just want what is good for you. You know, Chidi, I, I always want what is good for you. Okay. I, I will see what I can do about it. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow, all right? Okay, you take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Chopo Dearberry. My name. You don't mean what you just said. 100%. I meant every single word coming out of my mouth and there is no going back. And if you try to convince me or say otherwise or talk me out of it, I'll break your head. <laughs> yeah. It's been a week now. I have been calling him and he's not taking my calls. He's not returning them. I've been to his office for three consecutive days now. But he instructed his secretary not to let me in. Me. Just give him some time. He will get over it. Time? Yes. Alicia, more time. With each passing day that we do not talk, my chances of getting back to him is getting slimmer. Don't you get it? If I know I have messed up in the past, but this is worse. I don't, I don't even understand what came over me. I don't know. You are drooling over a fine guy now. How far? Have you seen the guy or heard anything from him? No, I asked my sister the other day. She said there is nobody like Ken in that compound. That's strange. You guys didn't exchange contact. There was no time for that. There was no time. See, just calm down, okay? Just give, uh, just give Chidi some time. I believe you will get over it. That dude loves you so much to let you go. You think so? Yes. Babe, I messed up. I messed up big time. It's fine, okay? Stop beating yourself about it. Chinaya, Mama, you know you're like my daughter. And I wish you everything good. Okay? 
Next moment. That one are true. You do always wish me good. And my mama, you be. Since the time we, my papa and my mama, bye. Now only you, Bri, make my brother and me be call you mama. Thank you very much. I thank you for that confidence. Thank you so much. I called you here today. It's because my son's wedding has been cancelled. Cancelled? Yes. Mama, what did happen now? It's a long story. Hey. Hmm. Oh, no good now. So no wedding to go to your price again. <laughs> Chinaya, there might be wedding. There might be a wedding. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see that your son, eh? So you don't quick find another woman sharp sharp. Brother and a sharp man. <laughs> Hi. Well, that, that is why I called you here. I... I... I want you to marry my son. Please. Yes. Hmm? Are you shocked? I know you will be surprised. But I know virtually every girl in this community. But none of them have good character. Eh? They, they might be well educated more than you, but character, that character is what I'm looking for. And you are very hard working to crown it all. Please marry my son. Please. Biko. Please. Hey. Mama. Ma, you know, say that your son. A person will go to school very well. He still didn't work for city, Toparan. Me, now ordinary girl I be, I just they manage myself. Mm. I, I don't believe say your son go like marry me. In fact, I know say he no go like marry me at all. He no go take here here. Um. Leave that to me and him. Let me handle him myself. He no go. Let me handle him. Just leave that to me. Do you understand? I will handle him. Okay? <laughs> Sister? You're not sleeping. Why are you still awake? Sister, what's the problem? Bukasi. Yes, sister. Mama say me can marry in son. Which mama? How many mama we get? Wait, I thought her only son was due to be wedded in a few months' time. They don't cancel the wedding. 
Now wait till Mama tell me. Okay, okay. I get it now. She wants you to take the other woman's place, right? Now wait till me be now. Sister, is that what she really wants? Because I know no. I cannot like give you. I know no waiting I want. The only thing I know be say, I won't come out for here, go another place. Begin do something with the different from this thing where they do now. Now wait I want. Sister. Any decision you take now, I will stand by your side. You are my only sister. Your happiness is my concern. Okay? Good person. Sister. Thank you. I don't hear. Yeah. So just stop, stop thinking about it. Let's sleep. Very soon night will be morning and you start preparing for get another stuff. Stay so let's sleep now. <laughs> Yes, Mama. Okay. I made your favorite. Thank you. Thank you, my child. Well, um, Chine, yeah? Ma? Some tour here happens to be um, Janet's younger sister. She's the one that has been taking care of Chidi since Janet decided to. You know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, some tour, this is Chine, yeah? Chidi's. Um, Wife to be. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Ma. Eh? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. My name no be Ma. My name not Chinaya, so you feel they call me Chinaya. <laughs> well, um, Chinaya here is not well enlightened, but she is very nice. I'm very hardworking like you. I'm sure you guys will get along. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Chine. Let me help you carry your bag inside. No, 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 no. Just I told you. <laughs> show me every day. Go. I go carry the bag. Okay, yeah? Mama. Right. Mama, they come. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can miss you. <laughs> Chinaya. <sighs> Mama. Are we eating? Yes, I don't chop finish. <laughs> okay, that's nice. My daughter, yes, let me give you the key to a successful marriage. If you want your marriage to be successful, one, you have to understand your husband. Do you understand? You have to understand him. Unlike we women, we crave for attention and love. But men, <laughs> they like to be respected and understood. Do you understand? So, like my son, he's very hard working. He likes to work. <laughs> So uh, maybe in the mix of his work, you might want to give him his food. No, don't disturb him all. Don't let him come around. He will know when his stomach tells him. He will come and look for the food and ask you. Do you understand? So, you know, men, men in general, they like when their wife is always at home, when they come back from work, they like to see a woman, somebody they can talk to. That makes them happy. Do you understand? I am. 
So, learn how to be around your husband. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? I understand you. Okay. So, and finally, don't be stingy in that thing, oh, in my family. You understand what I'm talking about? Don't be stingy. Anytime he asks you, give it to him. Men like it, oh. Ah, I have seen, I have seen most men dissolve their marriage because of that thing. So give it to him. Do you I don't understand? dissolve my own, Mama. I give him. <laughs> I trust you. I trust I you. Well. Okay. Ah, one last thing. I want you. Oh, sorry, Mama. <laughs> so, um, do. Um, Chinanya. Yes, Mama. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, okay. You can go go inside. Let me talk to some Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. I did inside. Okay. Somto, thank you for that meal. It was. Mm. Delicious. Thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome, Mama. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, why, why, why didn't you go with your sister? I did not like where she was going to. And where is that? Her friend's place. The same friend that made her lose her relationship with Shidi. What do you mean? Mama. My sister Janet is very well behaved. Hmm. She was never like this. All this started the moment she became friends with Alicia and uh, the other one called Beatrice. They corrupted her mind. So when she told me we are going to stay with Alicia, I spoke with Uncle Chidi. Hmm. He agreed I could stay behind. Hmm, interesting. You're a very good child. Thank you, Mama. Oh. So tell me sincerely from your heart, now that Chinaya is here, are you still going to be comfortable knowing that she has what your sister lost? Mama, I'm very much comfortable. My sister is a cause of her misfortune. Tell me something. Hence, I hold no grudges against anybody. Is that so? Yes, Mama. Hmm. Okay. All right. No problem, Mom. So, where is she? She was on the Oh, she's here. Ah. Good evening, sir. Evening, how are you? I did fine. I did fine, Wewe. Um, I hope you're okay here. Ah, yes, so I did very okay. I like this place, I like Kamara. <sighs> okay. Okay, Chinaya, you can go back. I'll call you later. Okay, Mama, I did inside. She can't even speak proper English. Yes, she's not. She can't. But she's a better woman for you. She's a better woman compared to these other ladies with their vocabulary in the dictionary. She's better. You get to like her. No, I am not in the village. This is a city. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> You're telling me about the city. Have you forgotten that I was the, the person that brought you to the city the first time? Look, Chinaya might not be the modern day sophisticated lady that you want, but she can give you peace. And that is what marriage is all about. That is what marriage is all about. So what happens to social and business events then? Hey, Chinaya is not that dumb. She went to secondary school, 
and um, she can speak simple English. Okay then, um, let's see how much of a white material she is then. I can vouch for her. You be the good tailor to handle her material. <laughs> no comment. Come on, son. <laughs> She's a good woman. You will like her. You will enjoy her. I need her. <laughs> Who's it? What is it? Nam, Nami, Nachinanya. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? How may I help you? Not nothing. I, I. I think I can come tell you good good night. Okay. Good night. Sleep. Oh God! I thought I asked you to go to the room, to your husband's room. <sighs> Mama, I go meet them. Mm hmm. I go meet them for room. But the way where you take talk to me, eh? I don't know the time where I carry fear. Tell him good night. Okay. What did he tell you? Eh, uh, MC. Yes, 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 yes. I, I may I help you? <sighs> yes, 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 yes. How may I help you? How is that scary? It's just a simple question. Question, Mama? Yes, it is. Now, why open the eye like that? <laughs> that is my son. That's how he behaves. That's how he behaves. You'll get used to him, okay? So go back to the room. Sleep on his bed. Hey, my man, go fit to no, go fit. Go back. You're going to do that. Go back to the room and sleep on his bed. Come on. Go, go, go. Go. Make I go sleep. Go, go sleep. Tell him it's me. If he asks you, tell him it's me. Go, go. For the bed, Mama. Yes. Hi. I could tell him say now you. It's, it's okay. Let's go. It's your husband. No, mm -hmm. make you shout. I know who shouts. He will shout. Go oh, back. back. Tell him. Good night, my dear. Good night, my dear.
Yes, yes. What is it? Um, <clears throat> I I been asleep for ground uh -huh. down. Uh -huh. Mama say me and you now husband and wife. Say we make with the sleep for same place, same bed. Go back and tell Mama that you are not going to sleep here tonight. Okay. I don't hear. Good morning. Morning. I thought I asked you to go sleep with Mama. So you talk. So I no go feed this obey, Mama. Oh, you would rather disobey your supposed husband? No, I, but, but I no disobey supposed husband. Mama talks to me, can no sleep for sitting room. You talk to me, can no sleep for your room. Come here, come spread something for ground. We can sleep for here. I don't sleep for your room. But Mama, no, no. Why are you scared of Mama? Oh, I'm not scared, Mama. Nah, respect her, they respect her. You know, since the time we, my Mama and my Papa, by. Now only mama be the person we be fit call mama. So no go fit do anything we she no go like at all. Now no go fit do am. And we waiting time they talk a big. Um, I think it's about past five. Hi. They don't break up. Okay. We can go go waiting we go take job. Sitting on the this morning. Uh, ow! Ew! It's a sleep for ground noise. Oh, my body just beat me. And I beg, I, I will fit put this my chest for your room inside. We do duvets. I will fit keep these duvets. Okay. No worry, I will keep them for me. I carry them. I'll be going back today because I have a church meeting to attend in the morning. Tomorrow, right? Yes, tomorrow. I know. So I'm going to send some money to your account. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yes, Chinna, your food is great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, Mom, 
Okay. I'll be going. Alright. And Joro. Okay. Take care of yourself. Dal. <laughs> Call me when you get home. Alright, see you later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, go well. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Mama. Talk say you like my food. My dear, take Chinea as your sister. Do you understand? Do whatever she asks you to do. She's a very good girl. Oh. You will like her. You can even learn one or two things from Chinea. Yes. Yes, Mama, I will. Okay. Chinea, Mama, you remember everything I told you. Do not allow things of this world in the city corrupt your head. Oh. Mm -mm. That one no go fit. Mm -hmm. No go fit. <laughs> Nothing go corrupt my head, Baba. I trust you. Baba. I trust you. That one no go okay. happen. Okay. It's okay. Uh, Mama, mm. which type will come back again? So you really want me to come back again? Uh, yeah, no. I won't make you come back today, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I won't make you stay here with us. <laughs> Okay, if you want me to come today, tomorrow, get pregnant for my son. Mama, don't start this. Don't start this. <laughs> I don't get pregnant for my son. So and you will see me. Come I will call the next day. I will call. Mama. Bye, Mama. Okay. Hello. Something. Yes, uh, how is Chidi? He's fine. Okay, any news? News. Yes, now you know what I mean. You're supposed to be there to monitor him, to know when things are calm, then I can come and talk to him. So, any news? That would not be necessary. Why do you say that? Sister, Uncle Chidi wouldn't want to have you back. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? I'm, I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me, I'm just, I'm just frustrated. He's married. What? M ma how? M married to who? What, what do you mean? It is true, sister. Mama brought in a new wife for him. S S Sonto, are you joking? Please, please tell me it's a joke. Hi. So finally, my nigga is officially married. Congratulations, girl. Come on now, just calm down. Not yet. I still have my reservations about the girl. Reservations? What do you mean? Isn't she pretty? She is. So what's the problem? She isn't educated. What? You know, our English is a... Um, Ah, oh, Zach, I don't know, I can't explain it. Aside the thick mother tongue interference, okay. she can't even put together a constructive sentence. Yes. Bro, that is quite bad. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, but we do. How did your mom have to get such girl for you? Isn't there no better girl in the village? Mm, according to my mom, she said Chinay is the most hard-working and respectful girl in the village. Wow. Yes. Her name is Chinanye. That, that's a beautiful name. So what do you think? What do I think? Um, anyway, I can't see anything. I, you know, I just met her only yesterday, so I can't really judge her, per se. But... <clears throat> speaking from my experience last night, I can only say she's respectful and hardworking. Speaking of experience, what happened? Did you? Hey, come on now. Come on. Okay. I'll say, don't be unfortunate. No, it's fine. So I was saying that, um, uh, 
You know, she would rather not disrespect me or my mom. So she slept at the entrance of my door. How do you mean? Yeah, my mom asked her to come sleep in my room. I refused. I told her to go back and go stay with my mom or probably just sleep elsewhere. And guess what she did? What? She slept in front of my door. Oh See, my. she would rather not disrespect my mom or disrespect me. Oh my. Yes, I ended up sleeping in front of my room door. Are you serious about this? Oh, you just make it up a joke. I kid you not, bro. It is what it is. Yes. This is serious. I kid you not, bro. Okay, to think that she even made breakfast very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. That tasted great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know I love food. Now I'll see what Mama saw in her. Mm. Bro, you're enjoying for this, you're also. Mm. <laughs> See ya, uh, please drink up. Let's leave this place. Jeanette, calm down. Calm down? Yes. Alicia, I just lost my man to another woman, and you're asking me to calm down? You haven't lost anybody yet. Some thought said the mother brought in a girl. She didn't say they were wedded. Is she? Jeanette, remember, this is the same guy that got you engaged for over six months. He almost turned you to the Queen of the Rings, yet he dumped you. Are you mocking me? Are you, are you trying to insult me? Of course I'm not. All I'm saying is, if he can dump you after everything you guys have been through, what makes you think he would flinch before sending that wannabe wife out of his house? just anybody but his mother that brought in the girl his own mother i know chidi i know him too well he loves and respects his mother so much he would not want to go against her which i know chidi a man that will do anything his mother wants is not a man enough come on now i'd rather remain single than to be with such a man alicia alicia i blame you I blame you for everything. You were the one that kept advising me. Apply pressure. Apply pressure. It's going to make him hasten the wedding plans. And now there are no more wedding plans to be hasten. Are you seriously blaming me for your misfortune? Like hell I am, Alicia. Yes! Chidi and I were fine. We're doing okay. We're perfect until you came with your useless advices. And I was so dumb to listen to them. You even advised me to sell our dining table. Our dining table. I, I sold our dining table. You know what? I don't have time to banter words with a loser like you. Why won't you call me a loser? I beg you. Eh? I'm a loser now, all thanks to you, Alicia. Thank you for making me a loser. You've been such a good friend. Thank you. Hello, sister. I'm good. How are you doing now? How is your husband? Hope he's treating you very well. Like, very, very well. Um, sister, we just finished our exams today, like this afternoon now. And then, you know, it's a very short break. And I would like to, I don't know, come over to your place and spend the short holidays before I will go back. Okay, just just hurry up. I'm waiting now. Sister, leave that one. I wrote an exam very well. Like, I, I'm very sure I will pass the exam. Yes, I'm very sure I will pass the exam. All right, now let me let me just hurry hurry up and go. Okay, we'll talk later. All right, bye. Done, done. I don't cook finish. I say make I can't tell you. Eh? Make I carry your own come here, Abby. Um, don't worry, I'll eat later, okay? Yeah. Okay. But you don't they walk now since the morning. Eh? Now you start this. 
Yeah, yeah. This, can you help me get the food? Make I carry the food, come. Yes, I'm famished. Let him come around. He will know when his stomach tells him. He will come and look for the food and ask you. Okay, make I rush. Go bring him. Thank you. Let him come. Stupid question is that? What am I doing in my own man's house? Anyway, I'm not here for you. Where's that village husband's match that came to take my man? Please, Where is she? Mister, please behave yourself. Please, Sonto, I will slap you. I will forget my fingers on your face. Are you mad? I said, where is she? Ah, uh ah, -uh. Sonto. Don't be that person when they shout like that. Oh, oh, oh. So you are the village, wretched, poverty-looking, hungry girl that Mama brought for my man. You're the one Mama said she replaced me. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. I came to tell you that I'm giving you two days to leave my man's house. Point of correction, our house. Because I moved in with him. I see the house is building right now. I intend to do the same. So I'm giving you two good days to move out. It's enough. Abby? Sister, control yourself. Please. If I... Ah! No touch and Wait, sin. You want bitter? Is that wrong with you? Are you mad? Sister, just... <laughs> You have to the worry you. Eh? And they ask you, who you think that you be? You could just enter person how they 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 act like 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 macho man. Who you be? Where can they walk you? If not try, try and my person how you day. What you mean? That's what your sister they do. Sonto, you mind this this thing? Get out. For what? I said you carry all you to leave in two days. You cannot ask me to leave my own house. So you shut up. Go in there and pack this and get out. I'm not for this house. Or what? I just want to try and respect myself, my boy. You know, hungry. Get out. Or wait. What will you happen? Come on for this house. Wait, I'm not I'm not I go push you. You cannot try. I go push you. You can't try. I go push your sister. You can't try. My come on for this house. You know that you 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 know that you what? You may try me. Carry your friends like a boss. What kind of nonsense be this? That's what you do. Get out. Stop so. Stop so. So you have a new sister, baby. You have changed this time. How can I put this door? How can I put this door? That's what your sister did. Ah! Hey, Baba, you don't know get sister. Okay. Random, you don't know get sister at all. I'm sorry, don't mind her. Hey, Sonto. That's what your sister did behave. No, hi. See how she land you slap, land me slap. I'm oh. sorry about it. You did all right. <sighs> Sorry, you. Sorry, yeah? Come make me enter inside. Back. You know, dear sister. Oh. Good chili. Welcome. Is everything all right? What happened? And. Where is Chinia? She's inside. Okay. I'm um, Uncle. Janet came around. Okay. She slapped Chinenye. What? Chinenye slapped her back. But that was when Janet slapped me too. <clears throat> what do you mean? Chinaya did not retaliate immediately. She slapped her. She only okay. stood up for me. When my sister slapped me, she threw her out of the house. I'm sorry, Uncle Chidi. I'm sorry, please. No, no, no. It's 
it's fine. It's not your fault, okay? Um, I'll see to it. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I did fine. This one where you come back early today, something happened for work? Um, nothing. Yeah. I am sorry, Jenny. Sorry? Yeah. Why you did talk sorry? What did happen? Um... I am sorry my ex had to come here and assault you and some too. Nah. <laughs> that one, they make you talk like, say, person die. She had no right to come here left alone to come assault you or to raise a hand on you. Ah, uh, leave that one, I beg. If not for that one, eh, that beating go around the way way. A general beating. She self full of collect her own. So why do you have to wait for her to hit something first before you can retaliate, despite the fact that she hit you first? Mm. Uh, because uh, I don't know whether you go this, say, I've been fighting your girlfriend. But you see Sumto, eh? Sumto day me like a bra. As I take carry a book and I swear I take carry a so I'm not go like see anybody embarrass him at all. I'm not go fit you here, here. Embarrass how you mean? Embarrass him. Make her go bring your food. Eh? I mean, you go like breakfast. Um, I like to freshen up first. Okay. Yeah. Uh. You may want to. Okay. Hey, um, Buka, my brother. You've been calling me yesterday. He talk saying, go like, come day with us small. Small. Before you go, go back to school. But what I tell him, say, I go, follow you talk. And if I follow you talk, finish. I listen to you talk, I go, still call him for phone. Tell him, wait till you talk. Yeah. But see, I, I promise you, eh? Hey, Oka, you know the person where they disturb person. You go feed day this house now. Nobody go even know say day. And you no go to day. I beg. <laughs> you know you don't have to promise me. I mean to let your brother Ibuka come stay here with you. As long as you're here, that's fine. Ibuka is free to come stay here for as long as he wants to. Thank you. Thank you. I will call Anna and tell her we could just stay happy. <laughs> we can go bring your food. You will call him now. Is that what you mean to say? I'll call him now. <laughs> I'll give you five minutes. <laughs> yes? Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. Hold on. Sister! Oh, my sister! Buka, sister! Stop for now! How you doing? I'm fighting with your shiny. Are you the person who chopped my body? Come, come, come. Come, sit down. Sit down. Sister, this place is nice. Hey, yeah. How you doing? I'm fine, oh. Sister, eh? who is? Um, Buka, sister. Uh, this is my son, too. Eh? Um, son, too. My Buka, son, be this. Eh? Now, my brother. Bukas is not the only brother we I get for this life. <laughs> eh? He named na Ibuka, but I did like call her Bukas. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, let me. Oh, should I? Oh, yeah, okay. No, no worry. Take away to go. You go help yourself. <laughs> you go help yourself. <laughs> you, you want me to serve you. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? That girl now. She's entering my eyes. You say she did do with him? She didn't enter my eyes now, sister. She didn't enter your eyes? Yeah. Close your eyes. Close them. No, open them. Huh? Make sure say you close them. Ah, sister, nah. 
She's done now. Uh. She's done waiting. Someone cannot play with you again. No, I beg, uh. I beg, I beg. No use so to play with me. You see everything we did this house, eh? Play with them. Play with everybody. But you say so too. No carry and play with me. Ah, uh, uh, wait, sister. Are you are you are you now trying to say that you love some too more, more than me? I don't tell you my own. No carry so to play with me. Uh. <laughs> they pay your school fees, somebody they enter your eye. <laughs> sister, leave that one. Forget that one. That one is uh, not that. Go drop uh, make uh, I show you where you go drop your okay. bag. Hope you make something. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> make that. I need to eat food. <laughs> like I'm this house, if you want chop 20 times, you go chop. Yeah, um, I'm coming. Who are you? My name is Ibuka. And you? Where is that child from the slums that has refused to leave my man alone? Where is she? A child from the slums? In this house? Who cast him? Who did that? Yes. Here comes the child. I thought I gave you two days to leave my man's house. What are you still doing here? Today is the third day. You're supposed to be gone. So what are you still doing here? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it my sister you are referring to as a tout from the stump? Are you, are you mad? No, are you no, mad? Is something mad inside of you? I thought as much. Like sister, like brother. I swear to God, if you ever insult my sister again, I will strangle you. I will beat you blue. I'm like, I, are you crazy? That's what no, sir. It is very necessary. Like, it is very, very necessary. How dare she? Who are you? How are you, how are you insulting my sister? Are you, are you out of your... Are you, Who out... can see? What did they worry you? Eh? Now, my husband, you say it is very necessary. So did they worry you for head? You don't get respect again, Abby. I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry, sir. Come here. What do you want here? Chidi, it is you that I want. I want to come back into your life. Huh? I want us to go back to the way we used to be before she came into the picture. First, you lost me even before she came into the picture. Secondly, there can never, ever be us again. There can still be an us. Chidi, you know I love you so much. So, so much. You know, the only reason I haven't bundled you out of here was because she did that the last time you came here. So now you listen and listen very attentively. I don't want to ever see you come close to her or come close to this house again. Do I make myself clear? GD. Are you being serious right now? Like, are you picking this dirty local thing over me? Are you, are you, are you out of your Are you seeing this? Chidi, why are you allowing Mama to steal our only chance at happiness? Why? I mean, whose mother will bring a dirty local thing like this for her son? Mama must be very wicked. Something they worry you. Something they worry you for head. I just they listen to you, just they rap, they go. It be like say, not don't lose for your head. See, make I tell you something. You could fit cost me any cost way you get for this life. Cost me. But you see, mama, no triumph of your she day. What did they worry you? See, make I tell you, if you try this nonsense when you just try now with mama, I swear, I go break, break every ball where you get for your body inside. You get mad? She did. You let her slap me and you stood there watch. To be very honest, hers was a soft one. Mine will come with thunderstorm and send you crashing against that wall behind you. Get out. She did. Get out. They go now. They go. I will push you. I say they go your house. What did they worry you? Get out. Sister, you should have allowed me to, to, to deal with this, this, this thing. That's enough. Go inside.
time you allow me to take care of things and handle things myself. It's not in your place to raise your hand against someone. If you raise hand up, we'd like to see that thunder. It's my husband there. Why you don't give up that thunder slap? <laughs> Let's go inside and make me laugh, please. Oh, I <laughs> Janet! Come on now. It hasn't gotten to this. It point. has gotten past the point, Alicia. It has. I cannot continue to stay in this house for the sake of both of us. Because the level of hate I have for you right now, it's running so deep, I could wake up in the midnight and stab you to death. So it's better I go. Come on, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm Janet! Janet! Hey. My God. Hey, what's up now? Have fun, man. Okay, have fun. Oh, Mom, as you know, bring me for God. I said my committee for the house. But I'm not vexed, I'm back. Actually, I decided to start home today. You know, compared to other days, I would return home and just go to sleep. And you know, since this girl came around, I've not had any chance to pay keen attention to what's going on in my house. That's why Jan Janet would be unfortunate to come to my house and do something stupid. But as I predicted, she came around earlier today. Mm -hmm. But she couldn't do anything stupid. But guess what? What happened? She nearly slapped her. She nearly slapped Janet. I kid you not. Again, bro. I swear, bro. Because she said she couldn't stand anyone disrespecting my mom. Okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. So, do you love her? Love who? Bro, your new wife. Do you have feelings for her? It's not easy to love again. Life can be cruel. Life can be lonely sometimes. It's not easy to bear the heartbreak. No, no, no. Finding love can be one of the hardest things to do. Finding love can be one of the hardest things to do. Understand you because since morning when you wake up, now so 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 sing, you just they sing, they dance like. What's up? So to this question when you just ask me now, I don't know the boys why I won't carry answer. What's up? Now what's up? Maybe you're not just they happy. I beg. Anything happen? Tell me now. Take a GC. I don't go fit GC oh. Now lie, so tell me. So tell me. Oh, 
Sister, what are you doing here again? Aren't you tired of embarrassing yourself? I'm not here to fight anyone. I came to make peace. Sonto, you're my only sister. You remember that, right? How have you been faring? How are things going with you? I'm fine. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you still have the guts to come back to this house again. Good evening, Chine. Good evening. Where is Chede? Uh, he, he never come back from work. And who are you? And me, I, I being wife. His wife? What about the other one? Uh, I say married another wife. Anyway, that's not my problem. I've come to collect my rent. I don't understand, sir. What don't you understand, dear? I said I've come to collect my house rent. This is my house. I am the landlord here. Oh, ah, I beg. Sorry, sir. I beg. I no, no. Say now you be landlord. Eh? Sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> what does sorry help? Sorry helps nothing. Oh, God, landlord, I beg no vex. Eh? My husband never returned from work. Eh? When he return, I go tell him. I go give him your message. Eh? I beg no vex. That's all right. Tell him to pay my rent before the end of this week. Else, I will use unconventional means to throw him out of this house. I beg, I beg, I Lord. No unconventional anything, I beg. No worry. I, if he return, I go tell him. He, he, go, he go call you, I beg. No verse. Yes, he cannot renew his rent and is marrying a new wife. Owing my rent. I'm marrying second wife. What rubbish. How work? Yeah, work was good, just uh you know, our customers are complaining. They don't want to bring out money to buy big cars. And on the other hand, I tried to talk to my boss for us to import smaller cars to favor our customers. In his words, he said, uh, we can't do that. It's going to lower our standards. And I was like, okay. There's nothing I can do. He calls the shot. Don't worry, eh? Everything would be all right. I hope so. Eh, hmm. uh, landlord, come here. Are you serious? He said what? In taxi. Yeah. Like I tell you. Make you pay him money. Say if you no pay him money mm. before this week go finish. Say he go bring a girl come come to we our tents. Mm. With the money? Um, 600,000 naira. I would have paid for that um, rent. Just that this project I have done building my house, it's, it's really eating into my savings. How much you don't get? You say? I say, how much you don't get? Um, I have. The money I have in my account is not up to 300,000. Um, no worry, eh? No, just worry yourself. God will provide. Amen. Amen. Uh, make I go bring your food, come. Uh, make I leave you, make you come out clothes, finish. Uh, you could like eat for dinner, Abby. It's not dining. Okay, I will bring a coin here. Hmm? 
at the company. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Uh, I don't know if I go meet you for house. You come back early today. And that's not the answer to my question. Where did you go to? Colette. And what is this? Open up. Get all of this money from Chinaye. Um, the four hundred thousand are there inside. I, I beg, I want to make you join the money where you get. Join now with this one. Pick you for pay, pay landlord. I beg, I know they like to see that man for here. I know they like to see that man at all, at all. Okay. Um, I am serious. Where did you get all of this from? That's not my savings. Nah, money way I did come out small, 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 small. Take pay my brother's school fees for university. But as this matter don't come out like this, I say make I just take the money, give you, make it for Adam join. Take pay the rent for this our house. I I, I go rush enter kitchen make I for cook something for you. I know say you never eat a bag. They sorry, yeah. No vex. Make I make something where you go chop. Okay, okay. I got it. Mm. Mm. Sister. Why would you withdraw all your savings and give to him? Is he not the man of the house? So it is his responsibility to take good care of the house. Come on, sister. Hmm. Bukasin. Sister. You know no say woman supposed to help her husband. See. Since I entered this house, I did eat anyhow we are like. I feel chop five times a day if I want chop. I will chop for morning, chop for afternoon, chop for afternoon, chop for night, chop for night. Nobody did tell me anything. In fact, the food where I don't chop since when I come to this house, a big fast food. Way I don't chop since my mama and my papa born me. And you see that my husband, he never asked me for anything. Not even one naira. I be don't hear where I tell you, see, my husband asked me something before. <laughs> but, uh... Wait. That one, they take him money, build the house. We all of us. Carry ourselves enter very soon. So why not go help that kind of person? As matter bust out, say, not like this, not like this situation be. I go help him. And I go they help him. Unless the help come big past me. That one I no go fit to. I know what they do you. I ask for fees, Abby. Mm -hmm. My school fees now, sister. Don't worry yourself. You know, get problem for that one. Really? The money day. Ebuka, I know touch your money. Before you go, 
leave tomorrow. I will carry the money give you. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. Don't worry. Thank Don't worry you. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, thank you so I much. You. <laughs> I am sorry. I wish there is anything I can do at this time to assist you. You know, things are really hard for me, like I said to you the other time. It was even Chinenye who assisted me with the money I used in paying for my rent last week. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. This guy just sent a link to the group and I clicked on it. Next thing I started getting debit alerts from nowhere. And before you know, all the monies in my account were gone. But um, Ken, why did you ask the customer to pay the money into your account instead of the company's account? Okay. The car is 3.4 million. Mm -hmm. I sold it to the man at 3.8 million. So if he had sent the money to the company's account, how would I claim my excess? You see why I always warn you guys about all this crook ways of making small money. Look at where it has landed you. You lost your job for peanuts, 400,000. This is the result. They didn't even give me a day to sort myself out. They didn't even. And what are you expecting? They should babysit you. Oh, sorry, it takes six months now before we can push you out of our property. Of course, you're employed and you have to evacuate the property after being sacked. That's the result you get for not being straightforward. This is why I want people, people should just learn to do the right thing and take your eyes off peanuts or personal greed. Now this is the result. Um, anyway, based on your blockhead, I will just consider and let you stay in my guest room. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. Like, I appreciate this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ah, God. That's <laughs> such a relief, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, are, are you still traveling tomorrow? Of course, first flight. Oh, mm. don't worry. I'll, I'll be my best behavior. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably eat anything. You <sighs> eat anything. I don't know. I've not really eaten. Of course, I know you say you've not eaten. Something really fine. No, no. You know, um, I just said I should come and check on you because since your husband left, he told me to specifically make sure that you are okay at all times. Uh, mm -hmm. A better friend you be you. Thank you, eh? You're welcome. Thank you. So, uh, have you spoken to him since? Eh, uh, yes. Uh, he didn't call me this evening. Mm -hmm. I had a cool that time when he called. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Said you'll be away for like two weeks or? Mm, yes, yes. Two weeks in talk. <sighs> two weeks. Huh. Two weeks is a long time to be alone. Mm, not true. Not true. Mm. The only thing I go feed will be say I could just decree. Make you come back safe. Yeah. Or, or you can still <laughs> have what is in front of you. Waiting there in front of me. Nothing, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um, good night, eh? I, I won't rest more. Body, body don't tire. Yeah. Mm, make I rest. So yeah. I should, I should be leaving now. Uh, yes, okay, yes. 
All right now. This, what's there now? What is where? Hey! You know I didn't take respect to you before? Hey, no, you know, no. The respect we have been getting for you before, now here it is. Now, eh, the, the, the respect don't fall your cutter for ground. You! You won't go sleep with your friend, wife! What? There is no way he would know now. Are you going to tell him? Nobody would know. These things happen. Eh? What is my father? I better come up for my room. Come on for my room! Chine, two weeks is a long time. Two weeks is a long time. I'm around. Hmm? You, you they mad. So they worry you for head. You see that kiss where you blow? You, 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 you they mad. I never cry convince this man for my life before say, but did they do me somehow? You they mad. That kiss where you blow, so they worry you for head. Hey! See me see this man. This life hard though. No wonder I just come out for, for bathroom. I told myself, but... Hey! If you say I know where clothes. This man for my husband brought back to you. Hmm. Chai, Sumto. So tomorrow now, you go carry all your bags. <laughs> Come out. Leave me. Only me. <laughs> now, wow. Chinenye, I feel bad about it too. Because I have come to love you as an older sister. But right now, my sister needs me. I need to take care of her because of all these things that have happened. Hey. Eh, hey, that her friend where you talk say so you know like Nko. Where that one day? My sister is no longer staying with her. She got a place in Abuja now. So we'll be moving in next tomorrow. Chai son, I go miss you. I go miss you too much. <laughs> Chinenye. Mami go miss you, Paso. Eh? Eh, that reminds me. Chinenye, hmm? you have to be very, very careful with your husband's friend, Ken. The other day, I saw him staring at you lustfully. Chine, I have lived with your husband long enough to know what he can forgive and what he can never forgive. And he can never forgive cheating. Before the cheating, my sister did terrible things, including selling the dining table. But that did not bother him. But the moment he saw my sister cheating, he totally changed. Hmm. Chine, the reason why I'm telling you this is because you're a nice person and I love you so much. I would not like what happened to my sister to happen to you. Please, be very careful. I don't hear. Something. Thank you, eh? You see, this is your advice will you give me now. Thank you. See, this advice, I could carry them. Keep them for me. <laughs> you know, they go anywhere. I trust you today. What's <laughs> <laughs> so? I go miss you. I don't know as I won't take you. No, no, okay. I, I, I go miss you too, I beg. I go miss you. <laughs>
I go to sleep, fear go to catch me. Eh? Hey, what's it be this? Hello, darling. something I want to tell you. I want to put out a test. Yeah, test out now. How do I commit? No. Like, I want to put out a test using you. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, like, you want me to test? No, I want you to seduce her and get her to sleep with you. Yeah. I didn't want to make the same mistake when I realized I was falling in love with you. I knew what I felt about the whole situation with Janet. And I wasn't ready to go through anything close to that again. That was why I and my friend, Zach, we planned the entire scenario. Sumto, now you chase and come out. No, 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 come on. Sumto, Sumto left on our own, to be honest with you. I'm sorry. I, I didn't do what I did based on lack of trust for you. I was only trying to protect my heart here. From the very first day that I stepped foot into this house, I have always loved you. Yes. And even as the days went by, I loved you even more. There was no way I would let any man come in between what I'm trying to build between us. You're surprised. Yes. I know you'd be surprised. And I graduated as one of the best students in my secondary school. Not only that, I have a secondary school Certificate. Yes, yeah, so I can speak fluent English language. And and the mm. today I'm just a poor girl, okay? A poor girl from a small community where nobody cared about how you spoke. But 
People care mainly about how you treat what life throws at you. And what happened when you got here then? I saw your countenance when Mama introduced me to you the first day I got here. Yeah. Yes, and so I swore to myself to make sure that you fall in love with that young woman that you frowned at. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, I... <laughs> no, it's quite hot here. Need some air? Some air? <laughs> Wow, I didn't see this coming. Of course you didn't. And it's, it's worked. I'm glad it worked. Not just that, I... I fell in love with you. And I fell in love with you too. I love you. I love you even more, Chidi. Life can be cruel. Life can be lonely. Sometimes it's not easy to bear the heartbreak. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> you played, you played the first one. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. <laughs> no, that's it. Hey, hey, that's now we just banned in this house. No, she went to school. I'm comfortable speaking. You're trying to make I don't call her anything. Don't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no Zach needs to hear this. <laughs> yeah, babe, come on, hurry up, let's. Go away, babe. What is it? I was coming to tell you we are running late. But, damn. You look stunning. Come here. Turn. No, remain, remain like this. Turn your head to the next. Okay. You look beautiful. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, Nene. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being honest, for being sincere. Loving, caring, respectful. That's for faking the fact that you can speak good English. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Mm. Oh, that. yeah, that's okay, you can have part of me on you. <laughs> uh, before we go, okay. I would want to make a call. Uh. Okay. Mama, <laughs> Mama, how are you? Eh, hey, Mama, how are you? How about you now? Eh, hey, Mama, which time we we'll go see you now? Yes, it don't enter. She be talk say you go come when it's in enter. Abi, he don't enter. <laughs> yes, Mama, Mama, I give him. I wait to you, Mama. I beg, they come, they come. Keep coming. <laughs> okay, Mama. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> um, is that my mom? Mm -hmm. So, what are you guys talking about? What has en entered on them? Um, Mama said that the only time she's going to come back to this house mm. is when I take it in. So... I just called her to tell her to come. And from the sound of that conversation... Mm. I did not you... tell you anything. Don't, don't ask me. Don't ask me. I, I, don't, you... don't, don't, don't! Oh my God! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Now I know, right? Okay, okay. I'm so excited. Oh, you okay, what do you want? Mention it. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. We got just. 
Sorry. Haven't you asked Jago first? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Mm, you didn't name it. Let me get going first, please. Oh, baby, 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 baby. It's easy to love again. Life can be cruel. Life can be lonely. Sometimes it's not easy to bear the heartbreak. No, no, no. Finding love can be one of the hardest things to do. Finding love can be one of the hardest things to do. But when you put your heart to me, you will see. The love can be found in the strangest places, but when you put your heart in it, you will see that love can be found in the strangest places. It's more than what you see, it's more than what you imagine, it's more than what you dream. It's so powerful that it doesn't care about looks or moves. When you find the right one, everything will be alright. Everything will be okay. Cause when you find the right one, everything will be alright. Everything will be okay. Yeah. But when you put your heart to me, you will see that love can be found in the strangest places. But when you put your heart to me, you will see that love can be found in the strangest places. More than what you see, it's more than what you imagine, it's more than what you dream.